I've been thinking about this movie, The Artist, that I came up with, and I feel like it could be a TV show because um, this guy could be like a crazy artist. He doesn't have to only be be a um, a painter. He could be a musician too, and whatever kind of artist. But um, but he has different pseudonyms or secret names. All right, so um, but no matter what, I want it to be incredibly sexual. Like I want it to be like art sex, but in I don't want it to be porn, um, unless there's like an X-rated version. But eh, I guess you'd have to cast the. I don't really. I don't know. I don't really want to like cast porn stars, but I don't. I don't think it needs to be porn. All right. So um, yeah, um, Fifty Shades of Grey is like almost porn. It's not. It's not though. It's very not porn. Anyways. Um, a better story I came up with last night as I was in bed farting. <laughs> what happens I started farting and I was like, all right, I have an idea for this, for a children's book. It's about a police dog that has the best nose on the force who gets teamed up with the most gaseous police officer on the force. He has a very strange diet. And the problem is when his wife cooks certain things, oh gosh, maybe I should not have it be that detailed. I don't want it to be gross. I want to, I want it to be about a police dog that has a problem with his own, with his partner who farts. But then at the same time, the police dog is also um, trying to take down corruption. But it's a children's book. So yeah, that's a children book. Children's book I need to work on. But instead, I'm messing up my painting. I'm constantly messing up my paintings. Every painting I do, I mess up. I just I just can't make one that's good. But I'm learning. That's a, I, I, I decided early on that I was going to make mistakes to the point that I ruin really good art in, or poten ruin potentially good art so that I will figure out how far I can go and figure out what I can't do. Anyways, so coronavirus. Um, oh, God. It's really hard to explain how, like, you can... We all know the stock market's going to take this huge hit or these businesses are going to take huge hits. And we're all going, please give tax cuts that are significant enough to um, make these business or to allow these businesses to survive while this thing's going on. And so, but we're still kind of skeptical about that. I'm, I'm talking about investors. Because no matter what I, I tell people, hey, we should all stay in the stock market, some people are going, uh, logically, they're not going to make as much money. But then in my mind, I'm going, uh, Procter & Gamble is not going to make as much money. Well, in the short term, Procter & Gamble is probably making too much money and they're like going nuts. I'm, I'm they make, like Georgia Pacific, Procter & Gamble, they make toilet paper and stuff like that. Um, they make, uh, or, but in cleaning supplies and stuff like that. Um, I think two different things. Um, but you would think... They're making more money, but then it's like, well, how much toilet paper can you really use? Um, but then they are making more money in the short term, but then, I don't know. All right, so what I'm trying to say is no matter what, we're in a scary situation with the stock market, and um, some of us probably have too many rolls of toilet paper um, and those are the people that probably took too much money out of the stock market, which I think that's what like a responsible millionaire would do is, is they would say, okay, maybe I can have a little, I, I can have a decent amount of cash to make sure that I'll survive, you know, to take care of my mortgage or whatever. Um, but then, um, I'm going to keep as much in equities as possible because the reality is, um, these companies need to survive until, the coronavirus is, is, is under control and business can get back to normal. And once business is back to normal, the stock market is supposed to be based on very, very long-term expectations. And that's why it's like, well, it's uh, 27 times earnings. It's like 25 times earnings. It's like 20 times earnings. It's like, yeah, there's a reason. It's because it's, it's way beyond uh, the stock market expectations are way beyond um, what's happening with the coronavirus. But that doesn't mean that these companies aren't going to take a hit in the short term and that, uh, when companies take hits, 
and cause bankruptcies. And then you, and then like those companies have relationships with other companies. Sometimes it's kind of like, um, all these crypto investors that, um, like, uh, that can how 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 like they've lost so much money in cryptocurrency right now because they've gotten so used to making money in cryptocurrency, and now um, they're that 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 can affect other things they own like equities. All right, so no matter what, I think that like we all need to team up on this, and that's that's my my big issue with the way that Trump has behaved is is. Um, I don't think he's he's trying he like he's still against so many people because it's so much part of his identity and I think it needs to be part of his identity that he's the leader of the entire United States and that he's the leader of everyone but I feel like if you're in Washington DC there is this tendency towards the Democrats this the Republicans this but at some point um y'all need to get over that stuff I love you guys I really do. That's that's the whole reason I'm posting right now. I don't want to post at all. I've been working all day. I'm exhausted. Like all I want to do is go. To, like I haven't. I haven't. I've been working all day. Haven't got anything done. Because uh, I messed up so bad. And um, but I'm I'm still posting because I know life's hard and I, I wanna I wanna say hi and I love you. <laughs>